Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe and tap the bell so you get notified when we drop more content. In this screencast, we're going to learn how to create the necessary files to import Lightning Knowledge articles. After creating the files, you will see how it is zipped and imported to the org. We'll create a root folder, and inside the root folder, we'll put the content properties from our org and a CSV file that lists the fields we want to populate in the article. Inside root, we'll also have a subfolder that we'll call data. In the data folder, we'll have a .html file that will have the links to our images and a folder that will contain all our images. Let's get started. On our desktop, we'll create the folder where we will save the files needed to import. We'll name ours root folder, but you could name it anything you want. In this folder, we'll create a text file and name it content.properties. Now this file must be named content.properties. Next, we'll need to get the content properties value from our org and copy it into the content.properties file. First, we'll go to Setup. In the Quick Find box, search and select Import Article. Click on the Download Sample TXT link in the page. Now, we'll copy the data on this page and paste it into the content.properties text file that we just created and save it. Now we'll create another folder inside the root folder and call it data folder. Again, you could call this folder anything you wish. In the data folder, create another folder called images. In the images folder, we'll insert our images. Now inside the data folder, let's create an HTML file by creating a .txt file and renaming it image.html. The HTML file name can be any name, but for this demo, we're calling it image. Now we'll enter the HTML source inside the HTML file. This will have the link to the images from the images folder. The HTML source should look like this. Now, we'll create our CSV file in the root folder. Enter the fields you want to populate in the article. The CSV file must include the column, title, URL name, recommended column, summary, custom field body, channels, record type ID, Now let's zip the files. First, we'll create a zip folder. We'll call ours import file. Then drag all the files inside the root folder into the zip folder. Now we'll import this zipped folder into our org. Under setup, use the quick find and search for import articles. Under knowledge base, select your knowledge object. Under zip file, Browse to your zip file from the root folder. Once the import is complete, you will get an email from support at salesforce.com with a zip file. Inside the zip file, we'll have the import result and error info, if any. Check that. If there are no errors, go to your knowledge draft list view and look for the imported articles. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.